Hi, this is Joni Imani and welcome to Emotional Awareness. So on today's episode, we're going to talk about addiction because it relates to all of us. A lot of what we understand about addiction is incorrect. Often we think it's about lack of willpower or genetics or even about the substance itself and it's not. So I'll give you an example. If somebody breaks a bone and goes to the hospital, the doctors might prescribe them dimorphine to relieve their pain. Dimorphine is essentially heroin and it's actually quite a strong heroin because it's not been diluted. But the likelihood that the patient becomes a heroin addict is really low. So the question becomes how come everybody who takes dimorphine or heroin doesn't become a heroin addict because the intention or reason for taking the drug is different so the people who become addicted to the substance use it to get away from the emotional pain that they're experiencing and to be honest this is often when we lose people because most people don't understand that addictions are about emotional pain so this is what we do whenever we are feeling anxious or overwhelmed or in pain we try to find a way to get away from that pain and that's when we turn to our addiction what is the definition of addiction it's a psychological physiological process which manifests in any behavior that a person enjoys and finds relief in the short term but has negative consequences in the long term but still doesn't give it up despite the negative consequences. So it's a behavior you turn to which gives you temporary relief and even though you know it's bad for you, in the long term, you still can't quit it. What do we get addicted to? Like I mentioned before, it manifests in any behavior, not just in substances like cocaine or marijuana, alcohol or porn. It shows up in our daily activities too, like shopping, internet, work, food or even relationships. We can get addicted to any number of regular human activities. Why do we turn to our addictions? So when we're feeling anxious or fearful, say if you're at work and then you hear that there's going to be less funding next year and so you start feeling anxious that they might not extend your contract. So to get away from that anxiety, what you might do is turn to food or you might turn to Netflix or watching TV for hours or something like that. And what that does is take away the edge that you are feeling. You could numb that emotion. And the truth is, is that numbing does work, right? It works for the short term in the sense that even though your problem is still there, temporarily you will feel better. What does the addiction do for us? So besides relieving stress, it can give us energy, make us feel good or feel optimistic or increasing performance or many other things actually. So your addiction is your coping mechanism. It's your painkiller. So in the short term, your addiction takes away whatever uncomfortable emotion you are feeling. So Gaber Mate, he says addiction is like a stupid friend. It had your back when you needed him or her the most, but now he just creates problems for you and more issues for you. And even though you no longer need him, you don't know how to manage him or get rid of him either. So it's important to have a comprehensive understanding of what addiction is and see both sides of the story. If there wasn't any good in the addiction to begin with, then nobody would become addicted. And so the truth is, is that addiction kind of served you at a time when you didn't know how to deal with your pain. How do we become addicted? So when there is a lack of resources for you to deal with the emotional pain that you are going through, you know, say because you don't have the emotional education or you don't have the emotional resilience to manage it, what happens is that because your mind was built for survival, it has to find a way to escape the pain, right? And so we know we're the only species that know how to be somewhere physically and mentally not be present at all. So that's why when you hear horrific things happening to children, like rape or war or something like that, you know, we wonder how they manage to survive it. And that's because their mind escapes their body. And we as humans, we could do that. We could be somewhere, right, physically and emotionally and mentally be completely checked out. And it's not a bad thing, right? It helps us survive. But if we continue to keep trying to run away from our emotions, then it becomes harmful in the long run. Because what you're doing is splitting your mind from your body, which creates disconnection or disassociation. And you know, what you're doing is basically disconnecting from your instincts and your inner knowing. And your instincts is essentially what guides you through life. And so often in therapy, what you do is put back together your mind and your body, right? That's what it means to be whole. You're putting all the sides of yourself back together again. And that's what it means to be emotionally resilient. 
you know, that you know how to handle difficult situations without escaping it. So when something difficult happens, you know how to be present and solve it instead of trying to run away from it. So, you know, and that's emotional maturity and hopefully, you know, that's what we're all trying to work towards here. How do we solve it? So addiction is a symptom, right? A symptom of something going on that is much deeper. And so the question isn't why the addiction, the question is why the pain? So what we have to do is use something called compassionate inquiry or inquiry, right, if you're British or American. And that's a long process um, and it's a long, difficult process. And so we really have to be gentle with ourselves. Like you would have to gently ask yourself, what am I escaping? And you could be escaping a lack of connection, a feeling of loneliness, uh, financial issues, feeling unaccomplished all the time, a childhood trauma, or I mean, it could be a number of things. And so the point isn't to keep escaping your pain or keep escaping the discomfort. The whole point is to understand why we feel that way so that we can grow from it. So the next time you find yourself mindlessly surfing through the Instagram or Facebook, or you know, even when you have loads of work to do, ask yourself, what am I escaping? What emotions am I trying to get away from? What am I avoiding? And that is how we would begin to cure our addictions. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that helped. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment, share, especially subscribe, because that's what really helps us continue to make more videos. So yeah, hopefully see you next week. Next week, we're gonna do a video with my sister again, where we're gonna do a Q and A about why we decided to start a YouTube channel and you know why I studied psychology and stuff like that. So if you have questions about that, please send them in and make sure you take care and I'll see you guys later. Bye.